Hey guys, Matthew here from the MAT YouTube channel. The Swiss Arms PE90 is a civilian version of the SG500 series of rifles, which means that it's semi-auto only with no full auto capabilities. It employs a long stroke gas operated piston to cycle the action, which results in a very smooth recoil impulse. This particular model is known as the Black Special and is more suited to target shooting and hunting with a Picatinny rail and fold away backup sights instead of the more traditional diopter sights found on the classic green version. This rifle sports a 3 to 16 by 42 Cytron scope which has been mounted on a one piece loophole mount. It's chambered in 5.56 by 45 which means that 2 to 3 ammo can also be used in it. It has a 20 inch barrel with a 1 in 7 twist rate. The rifle features a folding stock and since the rifle remains longer than 26 inches when folded, it's classified as non-restricted in Canada which means that we can hunt with it. Other nice features include an ambidextrous safety, integrated yet easily removable bipod, various sling point attachments, fold away backup iron sights, an adjustable gas block, and a fold away trigger guard for those cold Canadian winters. Speaking of the trigger, this one is long and rather heavy and then it stops. Once you reach this stage, it takes just a bit more pressure to break the sear, which is actually quite conducive to accurate shooting. It uses proprietary mags, which some feel is a bit of a detriment since the AR-15 mag is so widely prolific. However, if you're willing to file a small notch in your AR mag, an adapter can be had that allows you to use them. The proprietary mags rock in place using the familiar rock and lock method of the AK and all the ones I've seen so far are made of clear polymer. This is a great way to keep track of how much ammo you have left. Look at that, I'm in Canada, so five. Takedown on this rifle is easy. It has two self-retaining pins that once removed allow the upper and lower receivers to be quickly and easily separated and if you only want to just open the action and not completely remove it you can just pull the rear pin for easy access to the internals. With the rifle apart, the lower handguard can be removed to either install or remove the integrated bipod. While it is a nice feature, many people report a shift in the rifle's point of impact when the bipod is utilized, and so many choose to simply remove it to avoid the issue altogether. And as you can see here, the reassembly is just as easy. So I shot a few groups with it out at 100 yards. Average group sizes off sandbags were about one and a half inches, although I did manage a few just under an inch with some premium 75 grain match grade ammo. Unfortunately, I had a really limited supply of that. This target shows a rather typical group which was shot with 223 Federal Law Enforcement Tactical Rifle Urban 55 grain hollow points. This group measures just over one and a half inches and would suit me just fine for most short to medium range hunting. I also shot a few groups using the integrated bipod. There was definitely a shift in the point of impact with groups printing about an inch higher and slightly to the right. The group sizes opened up a little bit as well. Typical group sizes with the bipod were just over two inches which is about what most trained shooters can do off their elbows. The bipod is a bit more comfortable than your elbows though, so I guess it does gain a slight advantage there. The Swiss Arms gained some notoriety in Canada recently when the RCMP, Canada's National Police Force, decided that it had been wrongly classified as a non-restricted and moved it to the prohibited category. The firearms community rallied against this decision and was able to get that decision reversed, one of the few victories against the unreasonable gun control laws we have up here in Canada. So overall, I think that this is a really nice rifle. My only complaint with it is its weight. Coming in at just under 11 pounds with the scope, it's probably not something you want to walk around with in the woods all day. But other than that, it's an extremely reliable, fairly accurate rifle with a nice soft recoil impulse. Add to that the ergonomics of a modern sporting rifle, this is a winner all day in my books. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you next time.